Hi, Jeremy. It's Misha Bodnar, right? You've learned the only First Amendment auditor in all of Santa Barbara, right? Do you remember how you were laughing at me on the phone when I complained about those TV sets that are all in all your stations? Yeah, the ones who have the point market. Yeah. And you kept going, nah, actually, I don't have anything to do with Shell. I just have to do with the inside that market. And I was saying, yeah, but I'm talking about COVID. I'm talking about the bathrooms. And you're saying, well, that's Shell's problem. And then that's when I explained to you, what, right? That, well, I have to go in and get this Frisbee with a key attached to it to use the bathroom. And on that, you know, Frisbee, it says the point market. And I have to go through one of your ponds to, um, you know, to get to it. As you noticed, you, whoa, you did ban me. The, the time I called you, you banned me from every one of the shells. That's all I'm saying. And then it went to that mobile over by um, San Marcos High School. And you know my daughter goes to school there. And um, you know that Lee McMillan died after talking to one of your pawns. So it could have been in the shell or it could have been with me, which happened across the street. And that place used to be called the World Gas Station. And the manager there knows that. She knows that there was an Armenian before who used to do really cool smog checks. It's way before your time, Jeremy. But you can't hide behind the point market and have fuel depot right across the street being like 10, 10 cents to 30 cents cheaper when we know it's that Venico, it's the same truck that goes to the other shell that you banned me across from Mackenzie Park, right? Where my friend Yanni, his mom, used to have a Greek market. And there's a lot of policemen who liked Yanni. So you're not going to have them on your back anymore. Now, you know where you are. You're right there in the corner. You know that the Ramada Inn is right there. You know all of those TVs are making a lot of noise. You know that at 3 in the morning, nobody needs to hear from long distance. I hear it from my house, right? I told you I live right there in the county facilities. There's a county building, right, where I go to get meds and and just work on my brain and people come in and out of there and there's halfway houses and they all have maybe different mental issues or addictions and they've all gone through your place they go back and forth through your gas station so they touch the key they have to go inside you can kick them out but you could also kick them out from the bathroom i've seen it done with your employees now, all of this has been filmed. I don't care anymore. You're not, right? It's the other way around. You're listening to me instead of you messing with my head saying, what did you say? It's not like I put a picture of you everywhere and in, in the back. I mean, you totally said what you did. And it finally got back to you because I have friends who are working for you. And I also have information about felons who have worked for you. So you're not testing anything, but you did sign something, Jeremy, and you're paying for that manager, and she did do the incident that happened. So you can't, you gotta stop laughing. You gotta turn those TVs off. We don't care at three in the morning, 8.05. Nobody's gonna buy any 8.05 action going through there at that time. Think of the others around you, Jeremy. Now I know you laughed, but no, there's a lot of people, even the jail can hear it. I'm right next, I'm five minutes away from the jail. They can hear those TV sets, wait for them to get out and want to join your team. That was the other thing. The, the TV sets, you're not understanding. You must not listen. You, they're very loud saying, join our team, come inside, buy our point market water. See, Shell is not going to be liking that you do all this advertising not talking about shell yeah i'm gonna go big on you i'm telling you you're gonna learn that shell since you kicked me out of every shell that's an emblem that's like the mcdonald's except they let me all back in because they know i'm not the bad guy 
you, you're scared of something, I could hear on the phone. And you were messing with my brain going, all right, give me the name. No, Abraham wasn't a good worker. Yes, he was. Maybe to you he was an asshole because he knew you were an asshole. But all those people have left. All the people I complained about, they've already left. So I don't even know who you're fighting for. That one lady. Yeah, I'm just going to say lady now. I know everyone's name. What matters is I have all of you. Either on tape, like your phone calls. Or those big allegations. Yeah, they were syringes, dude. And it wasn't for diabetes. And I know whose they were. So don't say they're big allegations. You didn't even see the picture yet. You just kept going, why are you doing it? Like that lady who did not care, who pointed out that you guys, it's not your fault, but you can't do anything less than 70 cents. That's obnoxious. Yeah, I'm, you don't understand. Yeah, go see the video. Ask her. Ask her what she told me. And so that's what I'm telling you. The lawyer's asking you, right, for all those, all those videos that I asked from your cameras. You don't have them, so now my lawyer's going to be you tampered. Shell's not going to like to hear what, all the stuff you did to all these people. So you're not laughing anymore. Yeah. And may that be a lesson to you. There's going to be a martyr, and Lee McMillan was that martyr and that was that one recording if you tampered with it if you can't find it it happens right there out of one of yours it can be that shell or it's gonna be the world which one do you want it to be who did she talk to do you see what I'm talking about I'm deciding now I'm blackmailing you now I know what everyone does. Now you know I did the truth. Now you know it's been two years that I've been studying everything about this. And you have not. You've just been giggling and kicking me out of one more place. But that last place, man, right? Jim Morrison. That dude's going to put you away. And if he moves, my lawyers say, that'll be your checkmate. So you better right now start covering your checks. And maybe start firing quickly before the corporation that you sent my tape that was for you to them thinking they were going to protect you now they have the copy again they know what you didn't really listen to they have a copy of the recording of you and me i remember it all would you like me to tell you about it i told you mostly you don't sound good and you kept saying I couldn't do it. And I said, yeah, but I am doing it. Why are you talking to me like this, though? And you laughed. You kept laughing and telling people around you to come around. Now, you see, you know, if you have any memory, it's not going to be that bad. It's just going to be revealing. And things will have to change. But if I decide, oh, shoot... You're right. Just like their thing, I guess it didn't work. But can I tell you, like these other stories, and they're just going to pull out all those other places that did what you did, the grocery outlet, the CVSs, all those videos I did are finally going to be, you know, troll ready. Yeah, they're going to be trolling you. The trolls, seven gram grams knows the trolls can be can do both sides it makes it more interesting but as long as you know they have your back like i said i said a good troll is a dead troll but i meant the bad trolls now the good trolls they're they're kind of they know what the bad trolls are gonna do and they know exactly what to do to a bad troll so i'm just gonna let you know you look at all the videos on the lord Crichton's channel right you were like what is what is my name is it michael is it no count of monte cristo dude all those names i gave you are my real names it's gonna look so bad along with the dudes with boobs oh i didn't bring that one up yeah there's some religious stuff happening too there's all these First Amendment auditors are coming down from L.A. to 
thank me for, yeah, there's now three of us, yeah. Do you know who the other two is, Jeremy? Yeah. Sleep well. Remember that other video when I said, oh my God, it's four in the morning. That dude, he didn't even know me. He just looked and said, I don't care. I don't want to know the story. Just get out of here. I don't care. I don't want to know the story. And I said, please, I got, I don't care what he said. Come on, just let me get these two aspirins and I'll get out of your way. And he said, no. Yeah, that was in your point market. And I filmed it all. And he just said, I don't care. And I said, yeah, but you will care when my lawyer says, hey, where's the video of last night? And you go, what did you say, Jeremy? Yeah, think about it. Night, night. <laughs>